What's up, guys? It's Big Nick, your favorite Christian content creator. Back for another video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. There's a lot of great people out there. I hope I'm at least in the top three. With that being said, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. As always, let's get into it. Whole Foods just paved the way for the mark of the beast, and this is proof that we are living in the end times. The book of Revelation continues to unfold, as Whole Foods just announced that they are making all all customers pay with their palms to buy groceries. This is set to roll out in all stores by the end of 2023. Videos of this dystopian reality have been going viral all over social media, and it is garnering a lot of controversy. What was once ridiculed as a conspiracy theory has now become a shocking reality. However, whatever is written in the Bible is never just conspiracy, but already an established fact. Revelation 13, 16 through 17 says this, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Now many stores have already rolled out this technology, even though it's not rolled out to all stores until the end of 2023, and one of them was actually in Washington, D.C. Go figure. <laughs> As if it wasn't already demonic enough there. Now this woman recorded a TikTok of her shopping at the grocery store there, and let's take a look at how nightmarish this situation really gets. Is this food shopping in the future? No checking out and the ability to pay with your palm. So I'm visiting Washington DC and I heard that they have a Whole Foods where you don't have to use any kind of scanning, any kind of checking out. They just know what's in your cart as you walk out of the door. So you know I had to see it for myself. The store itself is essentially like any other grocery store. But one thing that I did notice is that basically everything is in packaging or it's priced per singular item. So basically there's no option to pick as many apples as you want and weigh them out or pick as many onions as you want and weigh them out. You're buying bunches of things or one grapefruit for $2, etc. This was the olive bar. The whole cheese section was not self-serve. It was super weird. You can buy bags in the store and you just put everything in your cart and then you literally just walk out and you scan whatever you scan to get in. But you don't actually have to scan anything either. It was a super surreal experience. I honestly don't know how I feel about it. I don't think that it's necessarily taking jobs away because there's tons of people working to stock the store. Now here's where it gets a little bit dystopian. You can go in and register your palm. So all you have to do is literally put your palm on this device. Apparently you will connect it to something in your Amazon account or your card. And then every time you want to enter a store, you're just going to scan your palm. It's super crazy. And I also didn't know how much I was spending until I got out of there. They told me how long I spent in the store and then they sent me a receipt later and it felt really expensive. I can honestly say I hope this does not become the shopping experience of the future. That is absolutely unbelievable. Not only is the palm scanning super odd, but the fact that Whole Foods is tracking you on a surveillance camera and sending you a notification on your phone about how much time you spent in the store is a complete violation of privacy. As we see the agenda for the B system come to fruition, it cannot be any more clear that Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. It's time to wake up and realize the Bible is alive and not just merely some form of literature, but the actual living word of God itself. Jesus Christ is the answer. The Bible is real. I don't know what more proof you need. Guys, let us remember that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Even though these world events may seem pretty chaotic and to the flesh could seem scary, this means that Jesus is coming back. Let's get excited. I'm excited. I'm trying to see my mansion up there. I I know I got a fat mansion up there. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. God bless all of you guys in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you guys so much. Take care and peace out.